Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. But this animation was created by a dude named Gagame, an animator who does awesome stuff. He has a cool Twitter page, which is all in Japanese, and has a handful of animations on his YouTube channel. So yeah, it's pretty cool. With the use of a certain poem turned song from Singing in the Rain, a movie I've heard of but never really watched. Yeah, put that in the back burner with the sound of music. And adding an animation about a ghost girl dancing with possessed tap shoes, and you get. Gisoku no Moses, or prosthetic Moses. Artificial Moses? When I searched it up, the direct translation for Gisoku was, in fact, prosthetic leg. So maybe it's a reference to the non existence of legs, or like the shoes not originally being on the part of the ghost girl's body. I, I don't know. Well, whatever. I've never watched Singing in the Rain. Or oh, I'm sorry. Singing in the Rain. Because. I'm an early 2000s kid, and my parents never owned that DVD. If it is on a DVD, but I have heard the song a few times before in other moves. Though the only one that comes to mind right now is Robots, and right now I feel very ashamed of that. From the few clips I've seen of the movie, it seems to be the same musical era of Mary Poppins, so I enjoy it pretty well. But anyways, we're not talking about this or this, we're talking about this! And from the looks of it, it's really good. It's rather clever that each shoe seems to have a spirit of its own to represent both singers slash dancers during this musical number. They seem to have a nice chemistry with one another, constantly fooling around with the ghost girl before giving in with their actual born heartedness and dance along with her. I first want to mention how free it is. The shoes are just shoes, so to represent that, the shoes fly around and have fun, not trying to be aware of what the anatomy of the girl would actually be. The shoes flip 720 degrees in the air. They simply escape from the girl by separately hiding. The sh ghost girl herself is also following the same no rules rule herself by doing the little adorable hand shoe thing that you do as a kid, you know, with the little bit. So adorable. But, but, but of course, there has to be some reform, and when there is, it's amazingly in sync. It gets to a point where it definitely feels like she's actually doing the dance, which is what makes it so cool. Dancing to the music, in sync with the clicking of the audio to the movie, mind you, in such a creative concept brings so much life to this dance animation than without the ghost stuff. The animation takes full advantage of the music, doing little things while a certain part of the animation is playing. Why, this for example. But Moses supposes erroneously. For Moses, he knows that is just adorable. I, I keep finding the most precious things in animation, guys. It's it's crazy, but I love it. It's rather simple of an animation too. It's mostly the girl and the shoes moving while the background pans slightly, following the cast. The back looks like a movie set and even has the singing in the right poster. Wait, oh my gosh, that that's clever. I like that. That's that's clever. I think I've talked about this animation enough to say basically what I want to say. It's very simple and super fun. It's like a time capsule in how it's presented, actually. Going through a little nice place and time filled with joy and fun. A very passionate animation done for a very passionate reason. I am utterly in love, I suppose.